Hello and welcome to The Silburn Show. Today we are joined by a guest that has been featured recently in my Facebook Live and she has recently opened her second hair care store in Peckham, London, all coming up on The Silburn Show. for me is that what is failing especially for the for young black boys it's mentorship and about role modeling and I think that that is why they get in especially your young boys black boys they get into gangs and they get into drugs and they get into very negative things because they I, I think that they don't have that role model. And one of the things that I want to see, it's about mentorship, it's about mentoring our black young boy, how to be emotionally stable. Because I think that because they're emotionally immature, they get into things that makes, that get them in trouble. They, they're um, be seen by the police or they, you know, even in school, they, they act out because, because at home they're not getting the love, the nurture, they, they need nurturing. And that's one of the things that I want to see happen, especially for young black boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Sandra Brown Pinnock, who owns two air care stores, one in Peckham and one in Lewisham. And of course, make sure you go there. Of course, for me, because of my hair, I can't go there but I'll somehow try to see if my wife will go there. <laughs> now, Sandra, welcome back again. Fantastic. Thank you. Good. Now, Can I just touch on that? Yes. It's not only hair that we do. We do skincare. We, okay. do, we do everything. All right. So we do also for men. Okay. So, yeah, so, so it's yeah. not a sexy story. It's not not a sex no, it's not just, not just hair extension. Not just we hair. do everything from head to toe. I, I saw somebody was putting on recently um, something on a man's head. It's like a, a wig and they were pasting it on. You do that as well? Yes, we do. No, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> I like to get up and just go, you know? You know, wash and go, that's me, wash and go. <laughs> now, Sandra, recent events, um, as you know, regarding the, the Brexit and the referendum, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to ask you what your thoughts on the results, but also at the same time, what impact it will have on SME owners such as yourself? Mm -hmm. Have you already begun to notice any of this positive or negative effect? Well, first and foremost, the, the, the referendum and the leave. I was just so shocked when I got up in the yeah. morning to hear Boris that. Boris was shocked as well. He wasn't expecting that. <laughs> he, was thought he? Was, he thought it was going to be... He thought... He, uh, well, many people I are saying that so. he, he thought that it was going to be still remain. You know, he was playing a political game. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Well, he killed himself anyway. Yeah, yeah. Shot himself in the foot. But, um, you know, I, I'm just really, really shocked by it and still in shock, to yes. be honest. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, to be honest, it hasn't had an impact. The only thing that I see is that for now I am not, because I, when I ship things from where my factory is in Cambodia, yeah. it's, it has to be converted in US dollars. So now the pound has fallen, so it, it will cost more. So now I, I'm unable to um, ship things here to, in the UK. Mm -hmm. So with that, I, I put that on hold. That's, that's the only thing, but it hasn't had an impact as yet. I don't know what's going to happen yeah. later on. But what are your thoughts, anyhow, still generally? Because, you know, there's been that uh, rise in... In hate crime. Hate and crimes. Yes, yeah, so, you know, I was talking to my husband about that. And, and, I, and I think that, you know, that's a part of the British society that... I think they think it's, a, you know, the, the floodgates are open to, 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 to be so racist and this anti-Semitism and mm. xenophobic, everything, you know. And I think that if we or the government has to really clamp down on that because mm -hmm. this Brexit, that's not what it means, you know, that you should be racist, mm -hmm. you know, telling people to go back, you know, defacing things. I think, I think that it, it puts Britain and it, this, this great country, yeah. and I really love this country, but it puts it in, in a really bad way. And I, so yeah. I think that is, is something that needs to be addressed mm -hmm. and be addressed quickly. I, I got to understand that um, the, the leave, when people are hearing the word leave, some persons were of an unintelligent person thinking that leave meant to tell ethnic minorities to leave. Yes, <laughs> and they have to leave the country. You know, it's so, so stupid. So, so therefore, it's so yeah. stupid. Mm. It's so stupid. Because if everybody leave, then it wouldn't be Great Britain anymore. Yes. As David Cameron said, it would be Little Britain. Well, Great Britain only became great because of the uh, um, atrocities and the uh, slave factor and everything which has been done over the years. Great Britain only became great based on 
the Commonwealth, but the Commonwealth is now not anymore very profound. Profound, yeah. And also with Nicola Sturgeon and the rise of Nicola mm. Sturgeon and with the whole Brexit, mm -hmm. there could be a Great Britain without even Scotland. Without even Scotland so or without even um, Ireland. Ireland. And, and as what Putin said one time, you're just a little island, so you might return back to look island. Mm -hmm. But the greatness of a nation sometimes is not just in the size, it's mm -hmm. all of the quality and the quality of and the everything people. that exactly. Exactly. You know. But um, let's go back to my opening segment, which is calling for support of your own race divisive. Does it result in breakdown of race relationship? Or is it what is necessary to ensure racial equality? Because at the same time, you know, BME, um, like with Operation Black Vote, the political correct term of BME is African, everybody, Asian, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even Jews, anyone mm -hmm. combined together. Do you see when we're talking about we need to support, support our own, support black business, while the, another Asian business is there, do you see it as something which will somehow create a divisive factor? But no, I th why, why, why do we find the need to be saying support black business? Mm. Because our community really don't support our own business because, you know, if you look at the, the Jews, oh my God, the Jews shop nowhere else. They, mm. they shop in their own community. The Jews mm. will not go anywhere else to buy whatever it is, whether it's kosher, whatever yeah. that they need. When you go to Stanford Hill and you look at all their shops there, the Jews will drive a hundred miles to shop at another Jewish store. Yeah. The Chinese, the same thing. You go, where do you see the Chinese shop? For the Indians, I don't know where they shop. Mm. But we just go to the nearest store that is there. And so when we say support black business, what we're saying is that look for a black business because there's hardly any black business out there. Mm. And so when you say it's not that you're being decisive or you're being racist mm -hmm. or you're being prejudiced, what we're saying is that you need to look for a black business because as long as you support a black business, you are creating something for the community. Just as the Asian they've created for their own community. Mm -hmm. Because all the high street store that they have, they send their kids to private school, they don't live in the area that we live in, mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't associate with us, they don't employ us mm -hmm. and so what, what what we're talking about we're saying that support if you if we support our own community we are able to then do the same mm -hmm. we can send our kids to school we can pay our, our mortgage because once you start employing employment mean that that person is going to look after their children they're going to send their kids to school mm -hmm. they're going to pay their mortgage they're going to do all the things that they're doing and so we're saying to keep it in our community to do that first before we then go outside just as every other community mm -hmm. do and so that we can create something because we have nothing at the moment and I, you know, I use the term that we will be left at the bottom of the pile and mm -hmm. we are at the bottom of the pile right now. So we need to at least get a one foot on the, on mm -hmm. the ladder and start climbing so that, every, you know, you look at the high street, then you should say, well, there's several black stores out mm -hmm. there. There's nothing on the high street for us. And so that is what I am saying. And I know that anyone else who's talking about supporting, I don't think it's anything about being decisive. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's anything about being prejudiced. And I don't think it's anything about being racist. We have nothing. And we need mm -hmm. to now start owning. It's about ownership. We should yeah. own things yeah. in our community. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're hearing that we need to own things. We need to build things. Well, what do you talk about the political clout then? You're talking now about the economical clout, the black pound factor. What about the political clout? Well, in politics, are you in politics? <laughs> <laughs> we're all in politics by default. <laughs> People know I'm in politics, you know. Well, we're all in oh, politics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when you look at it, who is standing up for us when you think Good about question. it? Who, who stands up for the black community? Now, that's a good question. Who stands up for the black community? Who stands up for the black community? Can you answer that question? No, I don't see anyone that is standing. Mm. We, we, we have a, a, a mayor who they say is Muslim or is Asian. Mm. Um, is he going to stand up for us as, as, as a, a black community? Mm. I don't think so. And I'm, and I'm, I'm not being decisive here. Yes. I, I really don't think so. Because when, you know, we see all these marches that is going on, all these speeches, mm. Black Lives Matters. Who is really, look, if you look at Stephen Lawrence, yes. when Stephen Lawrence got killed, the police themselves was inf infiltrating the family and secretly investigating the family. Mm -hmm. They weren't looking outside, you know, for these racist um, mm -hmm. guys who really killed this guy. And so it took a long time for this to come to light. Very true. Exactly. So what I'm saying is that who is standing up for us? So when you look at it politically, I don't think there's anyone that is standing up. Mm -hmm. You know, you give politicians, as you say, they're politicians. Mm -hmm. They will say something that sounds good. Yes. But it, but it has no meaning, it has no depth. What if I got the answer? And the answer is this, because 
I, I'm going to switch and go across the pond in America now. And with the word Black Lives Matter and the recent killing of the two um, black men, um, murder, I would say, and of course the killing of the five policemen, mm. murder, I must say. But would you say that there are not much black voices raising their voices at the same time? Have you heard any? Well, no, not really, to be honest. When you look at the so-called black that people um, or community look up to, you got uh, uh, even President Obama. I, I just hear he coming out, mm. and when he came out, he was condemning the killing of, of the, the five white of guys. the five white police. I, I, I have nothing against that because yeah. I think that it's really bad right. what happened, and I think that that shouldn't happen. But I think that you know when all these other guys and black men that got killed, mm. I think that I wanted President Obama to do the same, to come mm. out and talk really strongly about that. No one comes out, you talk about, you know, all the others that I don't want to really call their names, yeah. but all the other so-called really high-profile black, mm. I don't hear anyone come out. So in, compar so in comparison to Oscar So White, where you had Will Smith and Jada Pinkett and everybody was up in arms about it, mm. I'm not seeing that factor. But I said before that I believe I do have the answer, because you said that you are starting two stores because you want to see the black community having their own power and to be very strong. Mm. So therefore, that is economic clout. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the political clout, would you say then it's for you as, as well? No. To, <laughs> to get it, I mean to say, not you directly, but it is for us. Yes, it's for us. I, I, I yes. made the move and yes. I stepped into politics. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, I'm going to be voting for the next prime minister. Now, many people will say, how can you do that? because I'm one of the 150,000 people. People can now decide what party I belong to. But the point about it is that I, I believe that fundamentally that we, as black people as well, need to actually nail to the, ourselves to the mass of getting mm. involved in the political system. Mm. What do you say about that? I, I said, yeah, I, I, when, when you look at, you know, locally in the council, you mm. know, I was surprised that when I, because I, I do a lot of research, and when I look at just in Lucian Council yes. alone, and see the amount of Asian councillors that's mm -hmm. there, and mm -hmm. not one black, it was it's yes. really bad. I don't think that we we, we don't put ourselves out there as a yes. as a community and as a race. Yes. I think that we need to we need to get into get more interested in, as you say, politics. Mm -hmm. Get more interested in the local things that is going on, mm -hmm. and try and get position in these spaces. And that is why you know when we need something to happen in the community, we it's barred or it's mm -hmm. blocked because we have no one in power that is able yes. to do that for us, because we have no, no representative, to be honest. Yes. And so we need to start doing that, to push ourselves in places where we can be counsellors, mm -hmm. because it, it's very easy to become a counsellor, but we don't do it. Right. And so we need to do things like that. Right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, have you heard it? We have got to actually be strong with our economic clout, and I'm also encouraging us to be strong with our political clout. Now, before I ask you what is your favourite word or your positive mantra, which we always ask each guest to share. What would you like to share to the community in regards to your business, where you're, where you're going with your business, and, and promote your business for a couple of minutes? Yeah. <laughs> right, where, where I want to take my business, as I said, I, wa yeah. I want to be all over London, you know, in, in each town or city, whatever it's called. I want to have a store in, in so my next place, I'm looking to go into Dalston, mm -hmm. and then from Dalston to Hackney. So I'm looking, you know, then back to Brixton. So <clears throat> that's one of the things that I, I want to do. And um, I just hope that, you know, I said support, come and support Zandis. Mm -hmm. And if there's anyone out there who's thinking about it, you know, you can give me a call. I can help you, you know, lead you in the right direction in starting something. Because I, I would prefer to know that I'm competing against another mm -hmm. person like myself rather yes. than competing against. I have nothing against Asian, but I said competing against the high street yes. store. So I want to see more of us out there. Let's compete between ourselves because that, that would be very good, you know, competition. So I think that is something that I want to see and I hope that I will inspire other people yes. to do that. And you know, as I, I'm talking about a consortium that you know, one, two, three friends come together, get a consortium going, you know, put your heads together and it's easy to start yes. and start that business and get it out there. You know, come at the moment, it's just Sandy's it's Andy's that's there. We're in Riley, 161 Riley, Peckham and that's SE15 for TL and Lucian Shopping Centre, that's SE13, 7HB, we're opposite Tiger. Just come on, the best customer service you'll ever have, and you'll see my smiling face. And I've been there, but I've not utilised the services yet, as you can see, I'm bald. But she reprimanded me by saying <laughs> they have services for balded men where you can actually get 
hair. <laughs> okay. Now, Sandra, thank you so much for that. Now, what would you say is your favorite word or quote or mantra or proverbs that drives you, that inspires you, and that you'd like to leave with the audience to inspire them as well? Well, my favorite thing is that I can do all things through Christ that mm. strengthened me. I can do anything, anything I set my mind to, and I can do all things. And as long as God gives me that strength, I can do it. Nothing mm. is impossible. There it goes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And of course, I'm a firm believer of that as a Christian myself. And I have no apologies about that because through Christ, all things are possible. And Sandra, I want to thank you so much for joining me on the show. You're and on welcome. the red chair, I mean, you're in red and red. <laughs> Actually, I'm not dressed properly because I should be in red as well to compliment you. you know? <laughs> thank you for joining us on the show. And to find more about Sandra Brown Pinnock at Zandis, please visit our website at silburn.com. And thank you to our viewers for joining us. Remember to share, like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Silburn TV, as well as our other social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for watching us and see you next time. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share and like, and don't forget to comment, but first subscribe. Hi, I'm Sandra from Zandis. Zandis here in Beauty, I've been just on the, the Silver and Show, and I think it's a fantastic show. You should like and subscribe, share it with your friends, and it's a must, you must watch it. Fantastic show. I know that wasn't in the script, I, I figured that one out. Yeah. <laughs> because, because things have happened so well.